Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to introduce you to the DimExpert tool. SOLIDWORKS provides us tools to add parametric relationships and dimensions to our part. These relationships and dimensions drive the part. However, these numbers are not useful for manufacturing purposes. The user needs uh, a more detailed set of dimensions that can relate to today's manufacturing processes and criteria. SOLIDWORKS provides us with tools like DimExpert to create these dimensions for manufacturing. In this case, I have a simple part that has some parametric relationships and dimensions. In order to get the DimExpert tool, we can either click on the DimExpert manager here or select the DimExpert tool from the command manager tabs. Here you will see all the tools you will need to add the DimExpert dimensions and geometric tolerances, um, or datums. If you want to add a dimension arc that define a dimension to the arc that defines the size of the hole, I simply have to click on the size dimension and I can select my hole and place a dimension outside. I can do the same with an arc and place the dimension outside. If I want to create a locating dimension, I can select the hole, uh, the locating dimension feature, select the hole, and place a locating dimension to that hole. Here I can add more dimensions for uh, manually, one by one, and you'll notice as I check my tolerance status, the green walls indicate the tolerance dimension for that wall has been created. Now I can keep adding more dimensions till the entire part goes green, and then I know that I've fully dimensioned my part for manufacturing. I, I can also use the auto dimension feature for DimExpert and, and have SOLIDWORKS create these dimensions for me. All I have to do is select my primary reference, select my secondary reference, and hit the green check. SOLIDWORKS goes ahead and creates all the DimExpert dimensions required for manufacturing purposes. And you'll see your entire part turns green. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.